Hey guys, so today we're gonna do the benchmark test. So I made a video like this with the earlier beta, now it's a beta 4. So just to see here, that is the new beta 4 on both devices. You can see when I go down like this, when I go down on you, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so uh, we had the iPhone 5 with iOS 7 beta 4. And then of course, we do have the iPhone 4 here. It's not the iPhone 4S. And I'm just gonna confirm it for you over here. We, you can see here, has this little thing there at the top. And then also you can see there A1332. So we're running two benchmark uh, programs. So let's just see if we can find them first. Let's see here. So the first thing that we're gonna run is Geekbench program and of course the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 4 uh, from 2010 uh, has only single core processor to 800 megahertz Apple A4 versus Apple A6 one with 3 gigahertz and I'm pretty sure that's dual core um, twice the amount of RAM here also on the iPhone 5 we're running this and while it's running um, I have this one oh my god it looks so good it's, it's like the good stuff I know I mean, sometimes the phones, oops. Sometimes the phones are the good stuff, but I mean, look at the time. It's late. Sometimes this is the good stuff. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, no, I dropped it. And then we have another test, which is gonna be a 3D test. Basically testing out the GPU performance, which is going to be awesome. Hmm. 1677, 1677 here on the iPhone 5. Sweet. And then of course, I mean, we can't forget about the coffee. I mean, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, the good and important stuff. So, I'm to score 400 here uh, on the iPhone 4. Uh, what that means basically is that we almost get the uh, four times the performance here on the iPhone 5. Um, you can see here, of course, more detailed information here. First, the system information, then some complicated stuff here that's been doing integer, floating point, and also memory here, um, which is almost twice in the that is something that we do see that half a gigabyte of RAM inside of the iPhone 4, one gigabyte inside of the iPhone 5. Now let's check out the 3D rating uh, enter to benchmark program. So we'll be running this benchmark program over here. Just because people like that stuff. People like it when this is on graphical stuff. And here the iPhone 5 really do shines with the, the Power VR SGX 543 uh, MP3 like triple core uh, GPU uh, and also that it's of course has a dual core processor and usually like a good dual core processor I mean you don't really have to have quad core in many games you don't you won't really notice a super big difference between a very very good dual core processor and, and versus a very good quad core processor if, the, if a phone has a good GPU something we've seen in Android with the Galaxy Mega 6.3 which is like a mid-range device uh, same with the Galaxy S4 Mini, uh, which is like a mid-range device in terms of processor, uh, but still, just because it has a, has a decent I don't know, 300 GPU, uh, there's really not a big difference between the S4 Mini and the full-size S4, or the Galaxy Mega uh, versus the S4 in terms of gaming, and this is something that we can see here one more time as well. Uh, again, a score of 12,000 here uh, on the iPhone 5, and a score of... Um, 1442 here massive difference here and it's probably not just because of the, that the GPU is better but also because uh, the, the there is a single core processor and it's kind of like a big difference so it's quickly a video checking that out hopefully you did enjoy that yeah have a good day